Rogers TV. This program is brought to you by Ignite TV. Now you're in command. Visit Rogers.com for more details. Hi, and welcome to another episode of My River District, a show all about Owen Sound, its residents, its businesses, and the River District. I am sitting here today with my guest, Melissa Craney, who is the Marketing and Tourism Coordinator for the City of Owen Sound. I should know that more easily than what I just presented because I see you every single day. Yes. But anyways, we're here to talk about Owen Sound Tourism. Nice. Thanks so, for having me. Welcome. Hi. Thanks We've got me. a lot of new things this year. We do. Um, where do you want to start? Oh, geez, I don't know. Uh, maybe our new digs, where we are now, our yeah, new location? Yeah, that's probably the best idea. Okay. Location and hours, if you know them. Okay, so we have moved. Um, you might see online, hashtag tourism at the Tom, because we have moved in to the Tom Thompson Art Gallery. So instead of um, finding us at the Marine and Rail Museum, which is still open and operating and happy to serve you, we've moved there. Uh, we are open Monday to, fr no, Monday to Saturday, 10 to 5 and Sunday's 12 until 4. That's fantastic. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. They've changed things around a little bit in like the entrance way of the Tom. Yeah, yeah. Some so you cool come in, desks. there's like, yeah, big desk, big welcoming desk. We have a gift shop. Uh, students have arrived. So we yes. have three summer students, uh, which you will meet throughout the summer at events and in-house. I'm personally excited to have them at my events to yeah. give me a hand. Yes. And they there's... better be ready to face paint. They're super, they are all <laughs> super talented and ready to do whatever you need them to do. Excellent. I yeah. can't wait. Yeah, I was um, working with one of them, James, uh, the other day, mm -hmm. and they're just so eager at that age. They're keeners. Right? Big time. Yeah. I love that so much. Yeah, I used too. to have that energy. Yeah. Yeah. No, <laughs> it's, it's admirable. I like them. They are, they'll do a great job. They'll work really well together. Yeah. No, I'm very excited to have them at our, our events. And I mean, my events coming up would be the um, Wheel and Ride, which but, is... Yes. In a couple of Probably weeks. before this even comes out. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> and then they're going to be kicking it at the hottest street sale. Mm -hmm. But then, unfortunately, Jen, the events person, couldn't be here today. She chose to take vacation instead. Rude. Yeah. Um, and so we've got a couple of things that we're going to talk about here. And they're going to be at a lot of them. Yeah. So there's Harbor Nights. Um, is back and it is still at the Marine Rail it Museum. It is still at the Marine so Rail Museum. So on the Harbor Wall. Sunday nights. Sunday nights at 7 p.m. Yeah. Uh, there is August 11th, there is a double header. August 4th, there's a double header. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. That is very cool. Um, live music. So uh, what are they calling it? Midweek music. So you might remember music at the market. It has grown, it has transitioned, yep. um, and it is now called Midweek Music. And there's a listing of so many really great people, but also really great places. So you'll find them within the River District. You'll find them in and around Owen Sound. Huh. And of course, you can find all of those things at owensound.ca slash Harbor Nights and owensound.ca slash Midweek Music. So all those details will be there. Then, of course, your people will also be yes. at the Waterfront Festival. Waterfront Festival, yeah. Which is all things Canada Day, Family Day. What Oof. else is there? Rock of Fame. Yep. <laughs> I should have probably read these first. No, that's all right. There's all kinds of great things. Um, and of course, Monday, happening. July 1st is the Canada Day celebrations. Mm -hmm. And I can confirm, as of right now, there are fireworks. Yes. So we're very excited about that. And I know that your students are such an integral part of that. Um, carrying boxes, setting up tents, being there. And then, yep. of course, doing their number one priority, engaging with the you know, the public and the letting them yeah. know what's going on in Owen Sound. Yeah, we are usually there with a tent or in mingling through the crowd and taking part in the activities and always eager to help and provide information to people who are maybe first time visitors mm -hmm. or sometimes residents are are interested in maybe what's new for them to experience so we always have a bag of tricks with us when a we bag go of places tricks. <laughs> yeah it's like whistles and well i mean stickers. there's that too yeah Bag we usually tricks. have a lot of a lot of freebies a lot of promo items that we give away too but um no we're we're always eager to help people have the best experience while they're in one sound yeah. yeah and i mean i myself have worked um 
with visitor center services on occasion and stuff. And it's amazing the people that come in. It's great. Uh, a lot of people from Germany. Tons. Quebec. It, Quebec. Lots. I've had to practice my French. The first thing I do is apologize in French for my poor French. That's all right. They <laughs> appreciate the attempt, really. Yes. Yeah. Um, so there's a lot of people from Europe. Yeah. Coming Australia. Over here. Australia. As well. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Um, all coming over. And you guys kind of keep a little bit of a tally of we do. where people are coming mm -hmm. from. Yep, we do. We try to track our visitors just to sort of see where they're coming from. And obviously, over the past five years, it's been sort of varying locations. Um, we do have a lot of Grey Bruce people visiting, but definitely uh, GTA, Quebec, and then, um, yeah, like Europe. So I love it here, and I know why they're here, but why are these visitors coming to Owen Sound? They are coming for everything that we have here. We tick all the boxes. So they're coming for our beautiful water and landscapes, our trails. We have unique little boutique shops and some may be heading up the peninsula. So they like to stop in on sound and check out some of our history, a lot of our events. We're kind of the, the point where everyone stops and loads up on groceries and all those necessities. But while they're here, they want to experience what we have. So, sure. Yeah. I mean, especially coming from Quebec and stuff before mm -hmm. that final leg up to, you know, Tobermory or something, yeah. stop here, grab lunch yeah. or dinner or whatever, get your groceries, shop, stretch those legs. Because mm -hmm. I've done that drive many, many times in my life. One. And you're feeling cramped by then. Yes. So the last, you know, hour and a bit up to Tobermory can be a lot more pleasant if you stop first and maybe eat. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's great. We have uh, some that are visiting and, you know, maybe the weather is not the greatest for our campers and they'll come in and say, what is there to do today? And we have a whole list of items depending on if you're family, families with small children or um, maybe you're an older couple who can't really get around as well and you just, you'd like to do something but not sure what. And of course we have the long list of restaurants that we encourage people to go visit because they're pretty awesome. And it's growing every single day. Mm -hmm. And yeah, the, the kinds great. of foods are changing every single day. It's a pretty diverse menu in yeah. one sound, for sure. It's incredible. Yeah, I love it. Um, everything from Mins. Yes, Mins to... on the water with a beautiful view. Yeah. Um, Indian Desire is a new one as well, which is um, delicious. Casero, if you're looking for, of course, a little Mexican flair. Authentic, yes. Yeah, there's there's all kinds. Sabi trees, curry, oh my gosh. Yeah, the it's list like goes endless, on and on. endless list of glorious restaurants and yeah. I have myself eaten at every single one I, and I tried to do not that. been disappointed no because it's it's work we, yeah. we have to test it out right we have to test it out <laughs> and I also love just getting to know the people that own the businesses yes. as well I think that plays a big part in like you know just making the experience great they they love what they do they love our city and yeah you can just have a chat with them and eat their delicious food yeah, well, and a it's lot a of them experience. have chosen to come out of the city to be here, to put down roots, to build their restaurant, and yeah. to share, you know, their their backgrounds and their cultures and yeah. things like that with everybody yes. in Owen Sound. This is true. Who, you know, I would say 20 years ago, this was not a common thing for Owen no. Sound. So now, on like, Owen Sound is so culturally diverse. Mm -hmm. We are open, we are inclusive environment, yep. and that really shows with everything that we have to offer. For sure. Um, why don't you tell us a few of those things that we have for, for offer? Like for the campground. Well. <laughs> for offer. The well, campground. Yes. So everyone knows Harrison Park is the jewel in the crown, as they call it. Mm. So many people, when they come here, they've either visited or if they haven't visited, we tell them to go to the park. And um, did you want me to show the stuff that I brought with me right now? Well, I don't know. I'm not prepared. Are we doing it right now? Well, Let's I don't do know. Right do you want to do it right now? now? Okay. Okay, sure. Well, Harrison Park, I'll just show you. Okay. So we have a new shirt for Harrison Park this year, which uh, we will offer at the campground. But um, because of limited space right now, you can actually come into the visitor services at the Tom uh, and purchase a shirt. We have varying sizes. So Harrison Park Campground, which is really nice. That's I love something these shirts. We haven't you do had. such a great job of hey, picking thanks. out the shirts and the sweatshirts They're and stuff. They're so fun. Yeah. That's actually, I really enjoy doing that. So yeah, Harrison Park has a shirt and then um, I can move into the stuff. From sure, let's that, just do it all. Let's do it all. Okay, so I'm gonna bring these over here. Um, as you can see, we have varying colors um, of what we're offering and we kind of went a little 
I want to say like retro y. It 90s. is. They're, they're a bit vintage. They are a little vintage and they're and they feel really like fun. That. They're yeah. so they're soft, soft and they're great. So this is uh, one of the long sleeves here down by the bay, Owen Sound, which is quite fitting. I can't wait to update my wardrobe with these. I <laughs> do enjoy my job because I could wear these as. Right? I mean, we do have our tourism. Um, swag that the staff wear but these are fun too so there's ones like this that have Owen sound and then on the back which it might be a little tricky to see this one on camera but um, it has little I don't know icons little emojis are the same ones on the purple the same ones on the purple yeah, might be a little bit easier, easier. so let's see this yeah, so, so we've got just varying items here that would sort of represent the city in general i mean there's yeah. we we do we tick all the boxes we I really do, do. there's yeah. golf there's fishing there's boating yeah. there's what else is on there golf color. and yep. all sorts of things like, yeah yeah um yeah, so oh same design there, and then this. But that one's on the sleeve, front. That's on the front for that one. Um, this has been a really popular color, so it's berry it's color. called. And yeah, males, females, they're loving the bright, vibrant colors. Um, again, down by the bay, but this one on the back. Which, Ooh, yeah, nice. it's great. So now, we're just trying out some different things. When you read down by the bay, do you automatically go? Sing the song. Okay, great. I do. Where the model, watermelons grow? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We don't grow watermelons here. I mean, I but we just do go down some. by the bay. <laughs> down by the bay, where the fishermen fish. Well, and I mean, we eat a lot of watermelon down by the bay. That is true. So picnics. Okay. So we could. <laughs> nice. And then we have different um, crew neck sweatshirts. Stop right now. It's These great. are amazing. Um, they're so soft and so comfortable <laughs> and sell very well. Yes. So I brought the three colors from this season, which is a maroon, a lilac. And um, I have the, the colors from last season and I'll be picking up one of each of these. Nice, yeah. Last year was sage and um, a powder blue. Yeah. And then this one's a little bit different too. So it has a, a navy blue. Very cool. Yeah. Is there anything on the back of those? Or they There's just... nothing on the nice. back of these, but um, we try to switch it up every year. So with different colors and a little bit of a different look. Um, so I guess you could say get them while they're here because they're they're kind of like a seasonal thing. So yeah. this will not likely be the same next year, I would imagine. Um, yeah, we try to switch it up all the time. Yeah, I mean, you transition some of the styles, but the colors yeah. and the logos and the writing, yeah, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, this is a very different color scheme for us. Normally, we're navies, uh, grays, whites, kind of like neutrals, yeah. but yeah. I we, think this is great. I and I love really these sweatshirts. Let me tell you a story about the sweatshirts. Yeah. And I know you know this, mm -hmm. but the crowd, the audience doesn't know this. The crowd. <laughs> uh, the crowd, you can hear them, <laughs> live studio audience. Um, they are the perfect sweatshirt to wear two sizes too big, Oh yeah. Over leggings mm -hmm. by a fire. They're great. You could just like climb right into it. Yes. Especially if you're just like a miniature person like myself mm -hmm. and you just sit in it and it's so cozy and so warm. The inside is so They're soft. They're very fleecy and, and they soft wash. Inside. They do. So warm. I have, so over the years, of course I pick up a few things and, um, I've had some of mine for six years and they're still going strong. Yeah. yeah. And they, I wear them a lot. Oh my gosh. What other kinds of items do you have we for have, purchase? Well, I brought one of these mugs. I think the last time I was here, we had a mug um, somewhat similar. Yeah. It was kind of a, a forest green. This is a little different, kind of a matte finish. Um, super cute. So cute. I love this whole like sun, river, yeah. trees, biking. Yeah, sort of shows that we're all season. It doesn't matter what season yeah. it is. You can come here and there's something something for everyone. Um, so mugs we have, actually we have stickers um, of each of these items here. Uh, very bright, vibrant colors, just like what we have in the shirts, keychains, stickers, patches. So we have a patch um, oh, really? with that logo. Yeah, an oh, iron-on cool. patch. And it's kind of an olive green color with white stitching, which I think will be a big hit this year. Patches are back. Patches are, yeah. Campers, travelers, RVers are looking for magnets and yeah. patches. So we have all of that. That's awesome. Yeah, that's incredible. Um, hats? Hats, oh yes, we do have hats. So we have some Harrison Park hats. The shirt, the first one that I showed with the Harrison Park logo, they're kind of like a dad hat. Love that. Do you know what that is? Just nope. a, a really worn in uh, ball cap, sort of that faded color. There's um, a hunter green and slate it's called, which mm -hmm. is sort of like a dark navy 
indigo-y color and it sort of has that that vintage roughed up look with the Harrison Park logo. That's fantastic. Yeah. And when we get back, yeah. we're going to learn all about how you can buy these for yourself. Baking for Change is coming this fall, and I'm your host, Wendy Pauls. We'll feature some of Canada's best bakers, like Jen and Astor, sharing their favorite recipes. And you can bake along with us at home while supporting refugee youth like Crystal. And the amazing work of UNICEF Canada. Jack for Days and Times. On Rogers TV. Welcome to Central West Side United Church. Welcome back to My River District. Thanks for staying us, with us through the break. I am here with Melissa Cranny, our Marketing and Tourism Coordinator for the City of Owen Sound. And we have just seen the whole new line of clothing mm -hmm. for this year. I'm going to be poor, um, <laughs> but I'm going to look good. I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> um, where can we pick these up? You can pick these up. Uh, our new line this year will be, of course, in our new location mm -hmm. at the Tom Thompson Art Gallery, so visitor services there. We do have a rack at City Hall with some of our items there as well. And I, f I believe that the Harrison Park shirts, they may have a couple there, but I would say main location would be the uh, visitor services at the Tom. Okay, and yeah. I mean, you put um, that rack at City Hall during the winter months last year? Yeah, 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 I think just before Christmas. And it's been incredible. It, it was great. We we got rid of so much, like, <laughs> and not get rid of in a bad sold. way, just yes. sold so much. It yeah. was like we had to keep stocking it, so it was nice to see that we pushed that out. And Absolutely. Made room for so much more this year. And I will muscle you into le leaving it there forever. I think it is going to stay there forever. Because all of a sudden you're walking through, you spilled your lunch all down your shirt, and then as one does, and you've just got a new shirt to turn, it's, change it's into. perfect, yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, as one does. Yes. <laughs> so it always helps to have some good merch. Yes. And then of course, if you enter into various contests that you run throughout the year, yeah. you have a chance to win some of this yeah. stuff. So right now, at uh, because of our new location, if you come and visit us, and fill out a ballot, name, email, it, over the next two weeks, um, and that's the only time you can get it, so you have to physically come into our location. So until what day? Until, that would be June 1st, I believe. Okay. Yeah, a couple of weeks. Um, fill out a ballot. We have a huge basket that we put together with all kinds of Owen Sound swag. There's some Tom Thompson art gallery items, some gift certificates, a whole massive amount of things. Maybe the River District might have some things in there too. You just don't know. You have to find out. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Sometimes you go under my desk and find things and, and they end up in stuff. And put it in. <laughs> no, there's all kinds of great things in there. So uh, yeah, come and visit. And yeah. It can all be yours. All be yours. <laughs> <laughs> and you can get a really cool little tote bag that happens to be branded Owen Sound oh, Tourism yes, and River District. Those. Yeah, oh, so okay. we have uh, canvas bags. On one side is Owen Sound Tourism mm -hmm. and the other side is River District. I carry those like everywhere they're so handy they like crumple up into nothing yeah and okay. then they're this great size bag and mm. they're great for the market yep. or grocery shopping anything yeah. like that have so to throw it in your purse you always have it yeah. yeah and then you're like oh i need something oh right you don't go to the grocery store and go, shoot i forgot a bag every every time yeah i Same. have spent so much money on reusable I know. bags i know my trunk is full uh, my trunk is never full though. I bring it into the house and then leave it there. And then it lives in the house and then I go to the grocery store again and I have no bags. Yeah. Anyways, these are my problems. Get, get a bag and come shop in no one's house. That's right. Cram it all together and put it in your purse then you've always got it and you've yeah. got nothing to complain about. That's right. <laughs> Um, so what else do we have this summer happening? Um, the cabin is open for the second the season. The cabin is open for the second season at Harrison, so Park. At Harrison yeah. Park. So if you go to owensoundtourism.ca and click on camping and RV, it has the campground information, it has the rental of the cabin, 
and it went it went over really well last year. It's a cute yeah. little cabin. It's so cute. Mm -hmm. It's really great. So people seem to love that. It's two bedrooms with two a bedrooms with a kitchen, with a type kitchen space. Uh, lounge room. There's a couch or something like that as well. There's right? a beautiful couch yes. in there. Yeah, um, it has all the dishes, and you just have to bring your own bedding. I mean, I would and want food. to anyways, right? Doesn't come with food or bedding. Sure. Not bad. Absolutely. Yeah. I think it's great. And it's great. so cute. And it's a very like historical little building. Yeah, um, There's some Tom Thompson art gallery. There used to be what? The kitchen? Items in there. Good question. Yeah, there used to be a whole bunch of little buildings. One is laundry. Yeah, I think this one used to be considered it, the it kitchen. It might have been the kitchen. I think you're right. Because yeah, there was already water and stuff yeah. going to it. Yeah. 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 Um, and then one of the things that I've learned recently is that uh, there actually used to be many cabins at Harrison Park. Once, once upon, upon a time. time. Yeah. Did you do the Richard Thomas yeah, tour? Yeah, I did the Richard Thomas tour. I know. It's <laughs> a great tour. The J. James tour. It's, it's how really we learn great. about everything. Yeah. And they had the exhibit. <clears throat> yeah, it was great. Yeah. No, he's, he's amazing and uh, a great resource for learning things all historical about Owen Sound. Um, and of course, you can find many of his books at the Ginger Press, which is just a couple doors down from City Hall. Yes. Um, if you do want to buy, you know, um, some merch and then maybe a gift of historic stuff to give to somebody who's maybe coming to Owen yeah. Sound or who has come to Owen Sound um, and make them come back and yes. fall in love with it as much as we love it. Yeah. Um, Harrison Park also has the Harrison Park pool. Yeah, the pool. There's mini putt. There's paddle boats. And there's canoes, canoes, right? You can get a canoes down. Yeah. 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 And there's you can take that all the way down to the top. playground. Yeah, you can take that all the way down to the top of the mill dam. Yeah. If you're up for a portage for a canoe, if you can up, take it further. If not, could, yeah. <laughs> but that is totally up to you. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it's a great place to go. And I mean, it's all other than the restaurant. It's um, and the campsite center. and the pool it's oh, yes. all free yeah it's you just come you set up a blanket you have a picnic yeah people maybe get some stuff from the milkmaid sit yeah. down have yourself some mm -hmm. little charcuterie yeah it's great <laughs> um or you know walk in and go to the restaurant which is delicious as well it's it your so favorite much. i know the gravy like come on the park burger oh, hands down ah, burgers. Anyways. now i'm hungry do you want to go for lunch yes okay <laughs> <laughs> Well, we've got lunch plans now, um, yes. and hopefully you do too, knowing that Owen Sound has an endless amount of wonderful restaurants, yes. um, many of which are in the River District. Mm -hmm. And you and I have worked um, in the past year on a few kind of collaborative things for the River District, yeah. um, some contests. We did a whole Locals Love It Here holiday shopping campaign. Yeah, that was fun. Um, so I always love working with you on those kinds of things because um, Lo it, it depends where you're from to be considered a local or not a local. Those who live in Port Elgin might consider themselves a local. Absolutely. Um, those who live in Georgia Bluffs, absolutely a local. Yeah. Um, so those lines, those boundaries are not firm for being a local no. here. I mean, love your neighbors. Right? Yeah. We absolutely. have such a great spot. <clears throat> People visiting come in and out. So yeah. Well, yeah. and honestly, like tourists don't know where the boundaries of Owen Sound are. Most people who live in Owen Sound and Georgia Bluffs don't know where the boundaries of no, Owen Sound it's are. It's true, it's true. Um, all of a sudden it just kind of transitions. And uh, if you don't know, then you wouldn't know either way. No. Um, yeah, I think that that's great. What are we looking forward to this summer? We've got some live music. We've got always tons of live oh, music in Owen Sound. Nights. Movie nights. Yes. Yeah, they were a little bit different this year. Yeah, so you can get together with your community and do some voting. Mm -hmm. um, and then we sort of pick different communities to have these these great movies. Yeah, in. so you could have it in your local park. Which would be super cool. So cool. And it's kind of nice because it moves it around for people. Yeah. And it kind of brings your community together. I really love that. Yeah. I really love the idea. It's like when you used to have uh, a local skating rink in each one of your own parks, mm -hmm. right? It just brings everybody together. Yes. Um, True story. So we've got live music, we've got <clears throat> movies, we've got Harbor Nights, which is always incredible. We've got Hottest Street Sale, we've got um, Cars and Coffee, Concord de Le Mans. Oh my gosh, so many things. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it is busy here. It it's busy, busy here all year, salmon, but especially this time tour. of year. Oh. Yeah, and we go immediately into the Salmon Tour. Yeah. And then from there, oh, it's Summer Folk. Oh yeah. Yes. Summer oh folk, my gosh. There are so many things. Rib Fest. Rib Fest. And recently we had a car a concert and we had the, the hockey, the celebration by Bright Shores. Yeah, cool. 
we're busy here. We have, we have so much stuff going things. on. All the things. All the things. And then on top of that, we've also got, you know, a first grade hospital. Yeah. We've got um, all these services around the city. And so you get this really l rural feel, but all the services yeah. of something less rural, which yeah. I think is why people kind of gravitate to the area. You know, they're not quite ready to give up that city life, but they want all the benefits of a rural life. And that's where you get, yeah. you know, in sound. Yes. <laughs> no, that's just like a, a selling, like a tourism <laughs> clip you can have. It's fine. I'll give you my permission. <laughs> All good. Thanks. <laughs> All, right. All right. So we've got a couple of minutes left. Yes. And I want to know something from you. I think I yeah. could probably guess because we've worked together for a couple of years now. Yeah. But why do you, as a local, yeah. love it here? Why do I love it here? So many reasons. I think because I can't find a reason why I wouldn't love it here. Boom. There you go. I'm going to need you to beef that up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I you just, have a I large love it family. Here. I do. I yeah. have a large family. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. I apologize. Um, I just, I love it here because it ticks all the boxes for yeah. me. My family loves it here. Everyone's so kind. You, you can't go to the store without running into a hundred people. Sure. Oh my it's God. Great. I went to Storbuck Park the other day, mm -hmm. ran into everybody I knew. I know. It was wild. All weekend, we were ATVing, we were doing all kinds of things, and we we're passing people on the trail, and yeah, it was great. It's, and it's also great. I mean, like, your kids are obviously all in schools uh, around. They uh, range Owensdale. from 18 to 7. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but, it's, it's, you know, things come up where, you know, you have to go get your kid, and then you can be back to work in 20 minutes. It's not like you have to drive <laughs> two hours to the other side exactly. of the city. Yeah. So it's it's easy. It's it's commutable. It's, it is. You know, it's, you can get around. Yeah. It's just it's home. It's just home. Yeah. It's and kids can just I play across it. the road at the park. It's great. Yeah. Mm. I really I feel that as well. And honestly, I want to give you your locals love it here badge of honor. Honestly, Thank you. you deserve this. Thanks. Um, I do really love it here. It's your local love that really makes you as a marketing and tourism coordinator. Yes. Um, robust right like you uh, you yourself love it here so I telling really other do. people why yeah. they should go to things or see certain things yeah. is genuine it it actually really is yeah. yeah i do love it here i i it's the greatest city it is the greatest it's a scenic city it's a scenic city it's the greatest city <laughs> it's the greatest city um melissa thank you so much uh just before we wrap it up want to talk about so you've got you've moved to the tom yes which is right beside the library. Yeah, so 840 First Avenue West. We've got the address That's down. Awesome. We just moved there Friday. And what yes. is the website? The website for Owen Sound Tourism, owensoundtourism.ca. Easy peasy. Yeah. And your socials? We have Owen Sound Tourism Events and Attractions on Facebook and at City Owen Sound on Instagram. That's and we have TikTok. We have all of those. All the things. Yeah. Go, go to our website there. and it lists everything. <laughs> it comes up very quickly in a Google search too. Yes. And there is an events calendar and I know that it pulls in all of the River District events as well. Yeah. So if you are a local person, mm -hmm. um, maybe a service group or uh, having an event, you can enter it online and yeah, we check, we go through and, and add those to our events calendar. That's perfect. Yeah. Melissa, thank you so much for joining thank me today. You so much it's for always a pleasure. Me. I will be in to get all of those. Perfect. So I'll just see put them aside soon. for me. I, okay. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thank and you. thank you for joining us again on My River District. We'll see you next time. Connect with us by visiting our website or email us at comments at rogerstv.com. Hello, I'm Liz Dowdswell, Lieutenant Governor of Ontario. In 2008, carbon monoxide, a deadly invisible gas, killed an entire family in our province. That tragedy led to a new law requiring homes with potential CO sources to have alarms. John Gignac's family members passed away that day and he shares his story to save others. Please make sure you have working CO alarms in your home. Protect your family today. The regulars, the guys who keep this place in business. Last week, they had something to celebrate. Jason had just finished university. So they toasted his profs, his TAs, his old roommates. Well, they toasted just about